Hello, and welcome to the Nogama Village Mi'kmaq Language Program. Welcome to our second video in this series, in which we will be discussing family possessives. In previous videos, you would have heard such words as nin, gil, and nigam. We shall review these words and others you will have encountered and look at how we indicate possession in relation to our family members. First, however, let's briefly review point of view. That is to say, first, second, and third person. As you can see by this chart in English, we use the following. Singular first person is I or me. Singular second person is you. And singular third person is she or he. The plural first person is we. The plural second person is you. And plural third person is they. In Mi'kmaq, the options are a little different and look like this. Singular first person, nin. Singular second person, gil. Singular third, nigam. For two or more people, in the first person, it's ginu, inclusive. Ninin, exclusive. For two or more people, in the second person, it's gelu. And two or more people for the third person, is negamel. One thing to remember is that plural pronouns do not indicate a specific number of subjects. It is either the preceding or following verb that will determine whether the pronouns apply to two subjects or three plus. For example, ginu eladigu is we are going for two subjects. Ginu eladigu is we are going for three plus subjects. You'll notice that the pronouns did not change. Instead, the verb changed to indicate the number of subjects. There are three major differences then between the two languages. The first, in Mi'kmaq, the same word is used for third person singular, he or she is Nigam. Second, in Mi'kmaq, we are able to indicate dual subjects, that is, two people or plural subjects, three or more people, while the chart shows one word for each. Later in this lesson, we will see how this is applied to create distinct words. The third and final difference we need to keep in mind is the notion of inclusive versus exclusive. This was introduced in our previous series, but it is important, so let's do a quick review. In English, context is used to indicate the subjects in the use of we. That is, the person being spoken to has to infer or guess at whether the we includes him or herself. In Mi'kmaq, however, this is very explicit. As you can see in these illustrations, a completely different word will be used to indicate whether the person listening is included or excluded as a subject. When we get into examples, we will also encounter a different point of view than those above, the fourth person. To understand what this means, consider the following illustrations where person A is speaking to person B. We are all familiar with first, second, and third person perspectives. Fourth person perspective, however, is used to indicate a secondary form of third person. Someone other than the subject of the words his or her. For example, I might say to you, I saw his mother today. In this sentence, the mother is the fourth person, as she is a secondary subject to the primary, the male person I am talking about. This is not something we normally have to consider in English, but as you will see in this lesson, the fourth person is important in word development in Mi'kmaq. 
Now, let's start looking at the names of some family members. We will start with our parents and see how the words change as we vary the points of view and the number of subjects. As you will have seen in previous videos, we can indicate ownership with the use of the NKW rule for singular subjects. That is to say, it can be as simple as attaching an N, K, or W to a word root to say whether that object or person is mine, yours, or his and hers. Usually, the first family member we come into contact with in this world is our mother. When I refer to my mother, I say Nkij. In this case, K-I-J is the root word to indicate mother. We preface it with an N to indicate she is my mother. Remember that word roots are not complete words until we add indicators such as the N. Say it with me. Nkij. My mother. Nkic, Nkic, my mother, Nkic, Nkic, my mother. If I was speaking about your mother, I would instead say Ukic, Ukic, your mother, Ukic, Ukic, your mother, Ukic, Ukic, your mother. Finally, I may wish to speak about his or her mother. In that case, I would say Ukkujo. Ukkujo. His or her mother. Ukkujo. 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 His or her mother. This is our first encounter with the fourth person. Notice how it changes the end of the word. In Mi'kmaq, we add an L at the end of the root word, like mother, to indicate the fourth person. Now, let's look at multiple subjects, including ours, yours, and theirs. We will start with the first person and look at both the inclusive and the exclusive forms. Perhaps I am speaking with a sibling and I want to talk about our mother. In this instance, there are two people indicated by the our and one of them is the person listening. Therefore, we would use the inclusive form, which would be ukijinu. This appears to be an exception to the NKW rule. So, let's take a moment to consider how the word is formed. Since the person we are speaking with is included in the subject discussed, it makes sense to use the K rather than the N. Therefore, we take the K in Ginu and use it to preface our word root Gitch. Then, place the I-N-U at the end to indicate plural subjects. So the result is Ukkijinu. Say it with me. Ukkijinu, our mother inclusive. Ukkijinu. Ukkijinu, our mother inclusive. Ukkijinu. Our mother inclusive. Next, let's consider the exclusive form of we, Ninen, and how it is applied. In this case, the person spoken to is not the child of the mother being mentioned. In English, we might say, Our mother is here, and the person listening would infer that our indicates not him or her but a brother or sister of mine. In Mi'kmaq, however, we are explicit in assigning subjects. Since the person listening is not a subject, we use the N in our NKW rule to start the word and place the I-N-E-N -E after the root word. So the final result is Ukkijinen. Practice with me. Ukkijinen, our mother exclusive. Ukkijinen, Ukkijinen, our mother exclusive. Ukkijinen, Ukkijinen, our mother exclusive. 
Let's move on to the plural form of the second person gilu. We take a similar approach to breaking apart gilu, but the end of the word changes slightly. So your mother becomes ukkijuo. Practice saying it with me. Ukkijuo. Your mother. Ukkijuo. Ukkijuo. Your mother. Ukkijuo. Ukkijuo. Your mother. Finally, let's look at the third person plural. Negamo. This time we are speaking about their mother. The result is ukkijuo. This seems different from the rules we have applied thus far. So let's take a moment to consider the elements we see. The W at the start indicates third person perspective and the UAL at the end indicates the fourth person as applied to a plural subject. So far, so good. This is very similar to the singular form of the third person. However, the root in the middle has changed from K-I-J to K-W-I-J. Therefore, we end up with ukwijwa. Try saying it with me. Ukwijwa, their mother. Ukwijwa, ukwijwa, their mother. Ukwijwa, ukwijwa, their mother. Next, let's take a look at another family member, our father. Since we now know the rules, let's get to it. My father, Nooch. Say it with me. Nooch. My father. Nooch. 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 My father. Your father is Gooch. Gooch. Your father. Gooch. Gooch, 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 your father. To say his or her father, we would say Ucho, Ucho, his or her father. Ucho, 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 his or her father. Moving on to the plural forms, we start with the inclusive form of our, and this is Guchinu, Guchinu, our father inclusive. Guchinu, 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 our father inclusive. The exclusive form is Nuchin, Nuchin, our father exclusive. Nuchin, Nuchin, our father exclusive. Nuchin, Nuchin. Our father exclusive. In the second person, we have Guchuo, your father. Guchuo, 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 your father. And finally, the third person, Wuchuo, their father. Wuchuo, Wuchuo. Their father. Wuchual. Wuchual. Their father. Now we will look at my son. Nkwis. Nkwis. My son. Nkwis. 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 My son. Your son. Ukwis. Ukwis. Your son. Ukwis. Ukwis. Ukwis, Ukwis, your son. His or her son, Ukwisel, Ukwisel, his or her son, Ukwisel, 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 his or her son. The inclusive form of our son is Ukwisinu, Ukwisinu, our son, Ukwisinu. Ukwisinu, 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 our son. And saying Ukwisinen is the exclusive form of our son. Ukwisinen, our son. Ukwisinen, 
Nkwesinen. 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 Our son. When speaking to more than one person, your son becomes Ukwisuo. Ukwisuo, your son. Ukwisuo. Ukwisuo, your son. Ukwisuo. Ukwisuo, your son. And their son is Ukwisuo. Ukwisuo, their son. Ukwisual, Ukwisual, their son. Ukwisual, Ukwisual, their son. Another example is my daughter, Ntus. Ntus, my daughter. Ntus. Ntus, my daughter. Ntus. Ntus, my daughter. Your daughter is Uktus. Uktus, your daughter. Uktus. Uktus, your daughter. Uktus. Uktus, your daughter. His or her daughter is Uktusul. Uktusul, his or her daughter. Uktusul. Uktusul, his or her daughter. Uktusul. Uktusul, his or her daughter. Our daughter inclusive is Uktusanu. Uktusanu, our daughter. Uktusanu. Uktusanu, our daughter. Uktusanu. Uktusanu, our daughter. Our daughter exclusive is Ntisanu. Ntisanu, our daughter. Ntisanu. Ntisanu, our daughter. Ntisanu, Ntisanu, our daughter. When speaking to more than one person, your daughter is Uktusuwo. Uktusuwo, your daughter. Uktusuwo, Uktusuwo, your daughter. Uktusuwo, Uktusuwo. Your daughter. Their daughter is Uktusuwal. Uktusuwal. Their daughter. Uktusuwal. Uktusuwal. Their daughter. Uktusuwal. Uktusuwal. Their daughter. Finally, let's look at possessive variations for child. Nijan. My child. Nijan. Nijan. My child, Nijan, Nijan, my child. Your child, Yinijan, Yinijan, your child, Yinijan, Yinijan, your child, Yinijan, Yinijan, your child, his or her child, Winijano, Winijano, his or her child. We need you know. We need you know. His or her child. We need you know. We need you know. His or her child. Our child inclusive is Guinea Janu. Guinea Janu. Our child. Guinea Janu. Guinea Janu. Guinea Janu. Guinea Janu. Our child. To say it exclusively is Nijaninin. Nijaninin, our child. Nijaninin. 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 Nijaninin, our child. When speaking to two or more people, your child is Ginijanuo. Ginijanuo, your child. Ginijanuo. Gini Januo. Gini Januo. Gini Januo. Your child. And when you are saying their child, you say, Winnie Januo. Winnie Januo. Their child. Winnie Januo. Winnie Januo. 
We need Janua. We need Janua, their child. These are just a few examples of members of our family and the various possessive forms. In the supplement, you will find many more, such as Nujij, my grandchild, and Gungiguk, your parents. Some will be singular and others will be plural. So, if you are uncertain about any pronunciations, seek the assistance of a fluent speaker. Kesi awi, onu wi soltenej, velaliog ach nomodoksebe.